Hello everyone. First of all, I am thankful to Dr. Mamta who asked me to collaborate with her on her newly started YouTube channel for pharmacy students in this lockdown period. For me, this is a new experience. Actually, I am reinventing myself for this digital platform. I thought of sharing my experience regarding my recently launched book, Careers in Pharmaceutical Sciences. Let me introduce myself. I am Neelam Singla. I have been involved in academics for more than 24 years as a teacher in pharmaceutical chemistry. The idea for writing on careers and guiding the students was on my mind for a long time. And this book is a small step to give back to the profession. Let me start with the growth story of Indian pharmaceutical industry. The pharmacy profession, traditionally recognized as dispensing medicines, has undergone a paradigm shift and changed into revolutionized industry. India enjoys an important position in global pharma sector and is on the forefront of serving the nation. Indian pharma started from chemistry. India developed competency in the field of chemistry and started producing bulk drugs which led to the development of manufacturing of generic drugs. For my students, what are these generic drugs? Generic drug is a medication created to be of same strength, dosage form, quality, route of administration, performance and safety as that of the original research product of multinational companies known as reference drug or innovator drug. Let me give you an example. For example, Lipitor, a cholesterol-lowering drug developed by Pfizer, a big pharma company. It was its best-selling drug in U.S. until its patent expired in United States. That time, Indian pharmaceutical company Renbexy launched the first generic of Lipitor in United States. To your surprise, the medicine which was being sold at the rate of $10 per tablet, for that, Ranbexy lost the generic version at Rs. 4 per tablet. This is the contribution of Indian generics to the world. Generics made medicines affordable to the world, so it is the greatest service to the humankind. India, a complete importer of drug in 1950, is now the fourth largest contributor of drugs to the world. Industry has generated huge employment and it is on the rise. It is estimated that the requirement of pharmacy professionals is 40% higher than others. The industry is evolving and changing and presenting a large number of opportunities to the students. You may be thinking why this book is needed. Everybody knows the opportunities and information is available on the internet. I know you are drowning in information these days, but let me share my experience with the students. During my teaching years, I met hundreds of students. Whenever you interact with them, I found that they have limited knowledge regarding the career option. If you ask them which field will you choose after your graduation, generally 3-4 answers are there. One is marketing, second research and development. If you ask further what in research and development, then common answer is formulation, then drug department. 99% of the students know about drug inspector or higher studies and teaching. So question is, is this information or is this knowledge enough for the students after four years for choosing their career in a field which is evolving and changing so fast? So students know a fraction now, fraction out of a large number of opportunities and secondly, they are not aware of the activities of that particular field. So I thought of compiling a book to demonstrate the presence of Indian pharmaceutical industry to the students, deep understanding or knowledge of the basics, 
and the activities involved in a particular field the job description job hierarchy and even the entry level packages also the book is very detailed so in one or two slides i will share with you in short how the chapter is covered the book is covered into three major sections historical perspective second core areas and third pharmaceutical education system to give the background of the profession i started with the history of pharmacy that is transition of the profession from ancient time to today's pharma industry important landmarks are highlighted in that list of top international companies national pharma biopharma companies and areas attracting special attention are covered in chapter 1 second section is the major section or the core section it is divided into five major parts industry drug department practice ngo and academics each area is a detailed representation of that field a very new field which offer a lot of opportunities is non government organization which are active in health public policy environment humanitarian and other areas third section which is covered is pharmaceutical education post graduation options b pharm combinations with llb with mba mtech institutes offering those courses with minimum requirement for those courses the tests which are required and higher studies phd post doc they are given in detail and uh, how to prepare for the interview and list of 50 colleges their websites and courses offered now let me take a small chapter from this that is manufacturing and how this chapter is covered in this book so conventionally what students know or understand from manufacturing generally the answer is manufacturing is a production activity in which products are manufactured so making of products on machines is known as manufacturing but it is not so manufacturing is a group of activities let us cover one by one first is management of the stores that is raw material stores receipt of the raw materials and issuance of the raw materials a full fledged department then quality control lab analysis of the raw material and analysis of finished products third manufacturing manufacturing of the products fourth quality assurance designing processes and procedures documentation control and generating of operating procedures then packaging department packaging operations are covered then finally it goes to again stores but finished product stores and receipt management there another department which is not directly linked but without which the production activity is not possible it is form engineering department so what this department does so it works with the production for the development of the manufacturing processes reduction in the manufacturing cycle time for efficiency improvement and these days information technology plays a lot of role nothing is possible without it so it quality assurance department is there the management of electronic system data management so all these areas are related to production production is not one department but all these departments which are working along with the main department of production so we have covered the emerging approaches also the future work specialization that hold great promise for pharmaceutical industry in working in sustainable manufacturing for green chemistry green engineering e manufacturing automated manufacturing these are the specialized area of the future so pharmacy graduates can be easily placed in all these departments so this is regarding one department i have covered almost 30 potential areas with details sound knowledge of the department basic understanding of the activities understanding the operations 
and each chapter is written with the help of experts from the field of pharma industry academics and government officials so the relevance of the book is this book can be seen as road map from education to employment let me tell you after exploring this field i myself shifted from academics to my own venture in custom synthesis hope the book will open up more avenues for you in this diverse field of pharmaceutical sciences i plan to come back with a series of presentations on important topics which are not part of regular curriculum you can visit our website for the contents of this book if you like the video please share and subscribe you can leave your comments or queries in the comment section below thank you